and this was submitted by our own uh, our own Apple Dan. Should yeah. speed rounds go back to the old format where studio matches uh, when studio matches resume? I say I never liked the buzzer format. I'm not saying keep it to the original for uh, the more format we have um, online because they could find a way, but you, it, it becomes complicated, especially in live events. You would have to, you know, give earphones to the, uh, one of the players from not to hear, or you have to find a way to block out. And especially live, it's going to be hard. But I think they can transform it into something else because also, you know, for me. I don't like it. Buzzers can be defective. The person calling the shots is only human. <coughs> and it's sport, right? Referees make mistakes. I get it. But if there's a better way to do it, now we have like a bit like two formats. We can find like a Franken format and make it just the ultimate uh, speed round we've ever seen. That's what I want to do. So I want them to evolve it. Uh, don't go back to buzzer. Okay. I, I have nothing heated. Uh, to say in this discussion, I do disagree with you, but I've got maybe I got an idea to go along with it. So I'm not just going to disagree with you for disagreement's sake, although that is fun and I have done it before. Um, Luna, she's so cute. I can't focus, man. I, I can't argue. Uh, maybe that's a sign that you you were afraid uh, that you were going to lose and you had to bring in bring in your adorable baby to distract me. So that you, she's smiling, too. You talked to her about it before you all started. Uh, but on to this here. Um, I don't care for the buzzer thing either. And the only reason I don't is because, for me, that is making a trivia contest into a matter of reflexes. Um, yeah. and, and it's just kind of like that's not – this is not a physical – uh, type of a competition. I do like the idea of them having the same questions to answer, the same amount of time, and not knowing uh, what the other ones have asked. I really like that because to me that puts it on a true level playing field of where it's just flat out fair, 100%. Now, with live events or in studio matches, I would be completely down for having down to uh, booth and, and one person goes and sits in the booth but hold on uh, to make it a little more interesting well one when they ask the questions they ask the questions in different orders okay hmm. uh, and the reason for doing that is because say we're playing each other and and I'm in the booth and you're answering questions I have a little screen where I can see how many questions you've gotten right. But I have no idea what order, so I don't know what questions you got right. I think that would add some more drama and some more pressure as opposed to me just going, you know, I'm going to go in there and do my thing. I don't know how they did. I'm going in there going, dude, Frenchie got nine out of ten right. I don't know which ones they were, and I won't because they were in the same order. You know, it, and it gives you that pressure where, like, I have to get this many right or I'm screwed. I think it just adds more to it. Yeah, I actually like that idea, uh, the having that that extra. A, a, again, are you creating, though, extra pressure to, where, where you shouldn't? Uh, because you like a fair game, right? So right now you're actually... Uh, kind of adding, um, kind of adding this this extra thing that the first competitor won't have, right? Uh, because he will see the results, but he's not going to have the pressure of oh shit, I have to live up to those results. So you have to think about how you're affecting the the player's brain, the first player who's in the booth. If you do that, it is a really good idea. But does it create a disadvantage, an extra stress that the other person doesn't have? So you have to put that into consideration. Very good point, and to and to answer that, I would, I would call it. It would be different pressure. It wouldn't be the same pressure, but as the person going first, you know that you you better damn well get them all or near all of them. The pressure is still on. You have to set the bar, mm. and you have to set it high, and that's a great amount of pressure. Then the person that goes after you, their pressure is now. I see how high the bar is. I've got to get over. So that that's uh, that's how I would respond to that. Very fair point, and that's how I would take care of that uh, or, or explain that because you got pressure on both sides. And, and Lulu, do you have anything to add? Uh, anything at all? No. Mm. Ah, okay, she agrees with us. You want to hear something funny? The mic wasn't on that whole time.
No way. Yeah, for real. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so smooth.